Hello, this is Marcus from Profile Tree, and in this video, I will be showing you how to manage the posts on your WordPress site. To go to your posts, click on Posts within the left toolbar. You may have other custom post types, which will be appropriately named, but they will have the same basic functions that I will show shortly. When we view all of the posts, we can see them in detail, including their title, offer, any categories applied, tags applied, and the date of which they will be ordered by. You can change what they are ordered by by clicking on the column titles above. And we can narrow them down by using filters, filtering by date and category, as well as using the search function in the top right. You can also make some bulk changes to posts. Simply click on any posts, click on bulk actions. We have the option to either move them to trash or to edit. As we click on edit and then apply, we can then make some large changes to all of these posts, such as applying a new category to them, adding in any tags, changing their offer, enabling or disabling comments, and their status. We have several different status statuses, such as published, which means that the post is viewable, to all users of the site, private, which means that only admins and editor users are able to view it, pending for review, which will send an admin notification to the site admin, and draft, which just saves the post as a draft. To add a new post, click on Add New. On the left, we have our Gutenberg block editor, which we will go into more detail in another video. For now, we can just add a title. And we'll add in some content below using the text editor. Looking to the right side of the page, we can see some options for our post. We have visibility. We can set it to public, private, or have it password protected, which we can set here. We can choose when to publish this post, so either immediately, or we can set a future date and time for the post. Likewise, you can also set paths, dates, and times. Here we can also mark it for pending review and change the offer of the post to one of our other users. View the permalink for the post here. We can add it in any categories, ones that we already have in place using the tick box, or we can add a new category. Simply type in the name, and if you would like to make it a sub-category, i.e. that there is a parent category to it, you can select one here. You can add in any tags to our post here, and while they may not be displayed on your front end, depending on settings, they are quite good for search engine optimization. Likewise, with our featured image, this is usually used for display on front end. We simply click on it. We can upload a file or choose one that's already in our library. The featured image will also be used in search engines for when links are pasted in social media or through the search engines themselves. You can also add in an excerpt, a shortened version of the page's content. And within discussions, we can choose where to allow comments or ping backs and track backs. So this usually can be set globally.
Once we are happy with the content of our post, we can choose to either save it as a draft, preview it, or click on publish. After clicking on publish, it will give you a prompt for some of the settings that we looked at earlier. You can then view the post in a new tab. And that concludes this video. I'll see you in the next one. Looking to the right side of the page, you can see some options for a post. We have visibility. We can set it to public, private, or have it password protected, which we can set here. We can choose when to publish this post, so either immediately, or we can set a future date and time for the post. Likewise, you can also set paths, dates, and times. Here we can also mark it for pending review and change the offer of the post to one of our other users. View the permalink for the post here. You can add it in any categories, ones that we already have in place using the tick box, or we can add a new category. Simply type in the name, and if you would like to make it a sub-category, i.e. that there is a parent category to it, you can select one here. You can add in any tags to our post here, and while they may not be displayed on your front end, depending on settings, they are quite good for search engine optimization. Likewise, with our featured image, this is usually used for display on front end. We simply click on it. We can upload a file or choose one that's already in our library. The featured image will also be used in search engines for when links are pasted in social media or through the search engines themselves. You can also add in an excerpt, a shortened version of the page's content. And within discussions, we can choose where to allow comments or ping backs and track backs. So this usually can be set globally. Once we are happy with the content of our post, we can choose to either save it as a draft, preview it, or click on publish. After clicking on publish, it will give you a prompt for some of the settings that we looked at earlier. You can then view the post in a new tab. Continuing post management, we can look at the categories and tags in further detail. Simply click, click on categories or tags within the submenu underneath posts. And from here, we can also add in new categories and manage the existing ones. Similar to before, we can go in and make changes to the name of the tag, as well as deleting them, either individually using the dropdown here or applying bulk actions. Every category will have its name, so how it displays in the front. Slug, which is a URL friendly lowercase version of the name. A parent category if applicable, as well as a description. Occasionally the description may be shown on the front end of your site. By clicking into any of the existing categories, we can make amends to each of these options. Likewise for the tags as well, we can add in the slug and the description, as well as change any of them for existing. And that concludes the video for managing posts. I'll see you in the next one.